In 2016, former President Jacob Zuma made headlines once again when it was reported that mermaids were discovered dead in his swimming pool in his controversial mansion in Enkanjla. The whole story might have been a propaganda hoax framing the president for engaging in witchcraft, but the belief in mermaids amongst South Africans is not a new thing. Seerbrak in the Western Cape On the night of January 5th, 2008, local resident Daniel Cupido was relaxing with some friends and family near a river in the woods when he heard violent splashing of water nearby. Daniel walked towards the sound until he reached a low-lying bridge. He was astonished to find a woman thrashing about in the water. He was ready to jump in and save her when he was stopped dead in his tracks. Daniel described the woman as being white with glowing opalescent skin and long dark hair. The woman turned and looked at him with the most piercing red eyes. The gaze terrified him, yet he seemed to be moving forward towards her as if he was hypnotized. He called out to his children and his friends who arrived quickly. They too spotted the creature, describing it as half human, half fish, before it dove back into the dark water and disappeared. Local tourism officers claim that locals are often warned about the creature who was last spotted 15 years prior to Daniel Cupido's discovery. Drownings in the river are often attributed to what is now known as the Cayman Mermaid. Locals from the Klein Karoo region believe that the Cayman Mermaid is a relic from a bygone era. Millions of years ago, the Karoo was not the desert region it is now, but covered with water. When the water receded, the mermaid had nowhere to go and hid in low-lying rivers. Even though the most famous sightings in South Africa are from the past two decades, sightings of mermaids go back centuries. Wilhelm Bleek, along with his sister-in-law Lucy Lloyd, was the creator of the 19th century archive or historical collection of Khoisan language texts. Bleek was a German linguist who had a keen interest in African languages. His first contact with the Sand People was with prisoners at Robben Island in 1857. One of the prisoners was sent to live with them, and it was from this man and many others that Bleak and Lloyd gathered folk tales about the Sand People. In his work, Second Report Concerning Bushman Researchers, published in 1875, Bleak alludes to a now famous rock art painting at Otsuoran. The rock art clearly shows half man, half fish hybrids. The image of the paintings was accompanied by a legend transcribed in Bleak's report by a farmer named D. Ballot. The story was told to him by an elderly sandman. This man spoke of spirits that lived under the water at Eerseljagsport near Otsuren and took the form of women or animals. The local sand people believed that these water maidens, as Bleak called them, grabbed anyone who passed by and dragged them down into the watery abyss. African mermaids are not unique to South Africa though. These aquatic beings have been spotted in Zimbabwe and in parts of both East and West Africa, there is a deity called Mamiwata, a mermaid-like water spirit with the woman's upper body and the bottom half of a fish. She is often depicted as carrying a large snake about her shoulders. I might explore this fascinating myth in a separate video. 
But for now, the legend of the Cayman mermaid still remains as a source of speculation, and we can but wait for its next sighting.